Yo, what's going on? This would be my last video on a certain weapon. Um, I may do it for another element, but I did want to do an actual talk through on Cry Swords, a new class champion weapon. I ain't pronouncing this thing. This is like ridiculous. Like it's not happening. So yeah, we're going to call it the champion class weapon for this video. Cool. Um, this weapon is actually pretty good. Honestly, I won't lie. I, I don't think it's a great weapon for like long raids. So any raid like over 10 turns, I don't think it's that great of a weapon. But for one turn, this weapon enables so many things to, and makes it so much easier for one turning for GW, especially when it comes to EX plus that I would recommend if you're like a weaker person um, or someone who's like, like, you know, you don't try to ultra min max. I would make this weapon for like pretty much every element because it doesn't make it a lot easier for pretty much every element to one turn the, the 20 million required for EX plus. Um, you do have to hit buttons and it's most, it's mostly good during strike time. Um, there are setups like you can do like how long in URL to get a hundred percent charge bar. They, there's elements like dark, water and earth who can hit the 100 percent rather easy without strike time um i don't think it's worth on wind actually to be honest i don't think uh, the wind house is really good so you don't really need it but for other elements i think it's not it's not bad honestly like dark and fire earth too i, I think it's a really good weapon for that but i just don't think it's a good weapon when it comes to like soloing or doing like 10 turns plus like if you're doing Nightmare 95, probably not that great. Or like Nightmare 100, I wouldn't I wouldn't bring this. But if you're one turning, very good weapon. Um, the sub skill you bring is Devilry. Uh, it because it gives you like a one mil bonus damage on every Ogi, which is really good. Especially when it comes to one turn, because that's like what, two million damage extra? Not bad. One thing I will note though, this main skill is kind of like not that great. The um, when main weapon boost to blade swamp two, please stop hitting blade swamp two guys. It's not a good skill. I watched so many videos of people running cry sword and they hit this skill. Like it's a good, you are, you're wasting your time clicking this button, the blade swamp two button. You're wasting your time. It's like every time I see this, it's like blade swamp two into dual arts. And it's like, Oh, you hit 3.3 million. Ogi. Then you hit 3 million Ogi. Wow. That was a really worthwhile hit. You really, you really got a ton of value out of hitting that skill. So I have to rant about it because people, I see people hit it all the time. I don't think this skill is worth hitting at all. It's kind of like Warlock skill one where like Warlock skill one is not that great. So most of the time no one ever really hits it. It's kind of a waste of a button. In this game, it's about damage per second, so hitting the button is not really worth it, honestly, in the long run. But for today's video, we're going to be taking on Grimnir. Um, I just wanted to talk. <laughs> so I recorded this video a while ago, right? Oh, hold up. That's the wrong team. I recorded this video a while ago, but what happened is that the video got... Like, I don't know. Sometimes, like, the sound of, in the video just goes away. So it's like, oh, that's unfortunate. And now I gotta redo the video. I was gonna add music, like some Sonic music or something, but I thought, eh, might as well just do a full video on it. The pool's on the right. Um, I put the Athena Spear because people are gonna complain about multi attack. Personally, multi attack doesn't matter that much to me, but um, people are gonna complain about it, so I just, I just threw it in there. I think there's a, more than enough multi attack for this vanilla. Um, the Athena Spear, I don't really like it that much. It's not a bad weapon. I just like the health. I don't like losing health. I used to, I used to not care much about it, but the more I, I play with a high amount of health, I kind of, um, I just, I just like it a lot. We're just gonna attack here. So you can see the Athena Spear. It, it didn't help Athena. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's one thing it didn't do. It did not help Athena, not one bit. Oh, we're about to go into the 95 trigger already. 
but you can like you can see like the weapon it hurts your raw damage like my female i think she only hit like 730k i think which isn't which isn't bad damage don't get me wrong but um i think she would hit harder with a regular weapon than a champion class weapon i could be wrong though on her damage but i think it was like 730. she can hit up to 800k so even bringing a champion class weapon you always have that um damage drop Wait, did we? Oh, was it 90? I thought it was 95. Like, um, Europa. I don't remember this boss, to be honest. I barely solo it. Oh, yeah, no, she had 800 k But that was the fire attack up, though. So that's a little bit different. I got unlucky, and they both hit Anella. That's annoying. I kind of like it to hit two enemies, so I can use Anella's skill for the heal. But we just got unlucky there. I brought double Prometheus, but I don't remember the triggers on Grimnir. I think I know there's a trigger at like 60, I think, right? 60, and then it's a trigger at um 40, I think. <laughs> I don't really do these fights anymore, so I don't remember it. Do you guys prefer me doing like Grimnir and stuff for videos? I know a lot of people do Grimnir and Europa and um, Shiva, all of them. I don't really do it because I don't see a point of it. The fight takes you kind of long. It's like 10 minutes or something, it's 10 minutes plus. So I don't know if people really care about that. Though I don't do the tier one bosses anymore, if you haven't noticed, I don't do those. because they, they like legit like three minutes. <laughs> so they, they die kind of instantly. It's kind of hard to find that sweet spot on a boss where, you know, it doesn't die instantly, but it also doesn't take a long time. Yeah. The reason the damage drop here, it, it was because of um, Shiva's buff on. His skill 2 buff does increase the damage cap. Wait, so we're gonna drop off Prometheus. I don't I don't know why I'm using Prometheus now. I guess I'm doing it for the damage boost. So it doesn't really boost my damage much, like at all. I think they gain like what 10k from that. <laughs> so that didn't really help the way I wanted it to. What is auto here? I didn't want to see what happens his guaranteed TA on. So I don't see a point of OG in with that. Oh it's 75 here the trigger. Athena, man, Athena's such an amazing unit. The more I use Athena for solo, I just it just really boggles my mind at how good Athena really is. Like at Grimnir, I was doing Team Up Malice. Um, I got unlucky, and the killing the killing blow at like 29 did end up killing my Athena. So I have to do another run of that. But like, it really does amaze me how good Athena is at countering these like higher end raids like she just demolishes them so hard not even just her ogi or her skills just her passive alone is so strong she just gets free damage she didn't she didn't take damage but she just said hey here five 2.5 million here you go just giving it to the boss she, like why is that allowed where's Where's the balance? <laughs> it's, just, it's ridiculous when you really think about how strong Athena is when it comes to solo wink. Like, I'm not even talking about her other skills. Just her her passive alone is just ridiculous. Not to mention that it does apply a debuff every turn. If it applied a stackable attack down, I, I think it would be like legit broken. Luckily it does not though. That's the only thing it's missing is like a stackable attack down. I value attack down more than defense down because in this game right now, there's so much damage that it's more about not taking damage. Every Pretty much every build now is about stamina, right? So you get more value out of not taking damage than doing more damage. Because most, most like high end pools already cap at full health, right? Well, minimum defense down. So it's more value for you to do to take less damage overall. 
so long as you can stay at a high threshold in HP. So units like Athena, you know, armor is really, really strong because of that, because they don't take much damage. The only thing that holding Athena back from being like a 10 out of 10 unit is that she doesn't have stackable attack down. So her stackable defense down, is not, it's not bad, but it's underutilized. Especially when you combine it with other units like Shiva and Anella, you, you have more defense down than you ever need. It's really what you're looking at is attack down if you're really trying to, to go over cap with. Not like it matters here because, you know, I ain't taking damage. <laughs> I have shield. It, it's, it's too strong, this team. My old run of this, I actually used um, Esther. But uh, I went with uh, uh, Athena because I've been using Athena for a lot of stuff now. And she's just so good. So good at what she does. I'm not gonna use any skills here. I don't really need to. I, I don't feel like you should always be hitting skills on cooldown. Like, depending on the fight, I don't think it's worth. I know a lot of people like to do that out of habit. Like, you just hit one, two, three, four, and then you hit auto. <laughs> but I kind of like to think before I attack. It also helps when it comes to doing like Fa. I know people like they love hitting their skills instantly and they never really think about it. So you end up getting yourself locked in at bad situations because you hit your skill instantly when you didn't really have to. I, I just hope that's a tip people can take. Like you don't always have to hit your skill. Same thing with Ogi. Like right there, that what I would call a bad Ogi because I know Dual Arch comes up next turn, and I could have had a better Ogi right there. But did I do it? Nope. So I would call that a bad OG. I mean, I'm not perfect, right? Because I'm talking and stuff. Oh, it's one more turn, right? Oh, oh, oh. It was one turn. Um, I'm not a perfect player or anything, right? Especially when I talk, right? It's, it's harder to talk and play than it is to just play the game. Because you're not really focused on a lot of things. <laughs> I'm about to reapply debuff. I think it cleared debuff right at 40. I don't remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to heal. No, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't need to heal. For some reason, I thought it cleared debuffs at 40, but I'm guessing that Shiva then, the one I'm thinking about, that would clear debuff right now. As I mentioned, I don't, I don't sell the bosses like a lot. The more I, I solo them, I will be more used to it, but I don't do it, so do forgive me for not knowing that. Dodge! You get a Prometheus, I guess. Well, this Prometheus on like 5 turn cooldown, so that's kind of meh. We don't have defense down cap right now, I don't think. I think we're at, what, that 15 from Shiva, 20 from uh, Nulla, and I think, I think Athena that, like, maybe do have defense down cap, because Athena, I think, capped at around 30%, so that would be a cap. It's hard to keep track of all these units, to be honest. We're going to use Michael for the first time here. I was going to use um, Athena's blind and her her dodge, not her blind, her dodge, her blind and delay, but I never call Michael, so I thought I might as well call Michael one time. But yeah, Athena, too strong, too strong at her job. We're going to use Shiva here. Since um, right now we have Shiva buff on and we have vanilla buff. It's about the optimal time to use it. At least we'll get the most value right now. Provided everybody multi attacks. What they didn't. <laughs> they have like, uh, what's that? 50 from Anella, and then like 20, 20 from Athena Spear? Right? But they still single attack. Feels bad. That was another bad Ogi, by the way. Because I'm talking, so <laughs> I'm not playing optimally. Let's go, let's go. 
Yeah, one more turn, right? Though, if I was to get a double TA, it's not bad. Because, um, Anilla does boost your charge bar speed by 50. So, depending on, like, how lucky I get with TAs, right? Like, I'm at 67, so it's not that bad. But it only works because of Anilla charge bar speed increase. That's why I brought Anilla. Other than, like, bringing, like, Esther. Because Anilla, the charge bar speed really helps a lot. Like, I think Esther's great, don't get me wrong, but I don't think she's great for every situation. Sometimes, like, the when it comes to solo wing, I just really value the spear team. Because they, they do a lot. They really end up doing a lot. And they, they pretty much cover everything. So, the only thing this team is lacking right now is the dispel. Like, there's no real good dispeller on fire, to be honest. People are probably thinking about Claris, but I don't think Claris is a great unit anymore. She was good in like 2016 and 2017, but there's no real like real overpowering dispel unit right now on fire. Alright, gonna get this. We don't have any multi attack though, sadly. Due to Grimnir's uh, Ogi, he did lower our multi attack. But we did we get multi attacks out here. That's better than I expected, to be honest. That's what I expected. <laughs> so I think um, Chrysler had really high double attack rate, I believe. I don't remember the um, the job skills, but I think it has 20% double attack, naturally. And then we combine that with an, uh, Nilla. Nilla has, um, what, 50? So that's 70 right there. So it's pretty high, not even including the Athena Spear. To be the end of the fight, it could have been faster if I was paying attention more often. But I'm talking, so I'm not really trying to play ultra optimally. Maybe it's not the end. No, man, no, 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 no. It has like a million health left, so I think uh, Athena proc kill. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Get out there. I didn't need the pot either. You, you don't really. Athena makes it so easy. You don't really need a pot at all. The power of Athena, those thighs, bro. OP, OP, OP. But that's my opinion on this weapon. I don't think it's like the worst weapon or anything. I think it's an okay weapon overall. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.